Okay guys, so we are now at Convitec and there's some stuff that I cannot show you but whatever I can show you I will show you and I'm super excited. That's the front door. And see it says Convitec on it. So yeah. So get excited to see it. I'm very excited and it's a very good opportunity, so let's go inside. So, okay, so I am being told that this is awesome patches through the decades. That's cool. And I can edit parts out, so. So that's the 1930s. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that that's what that used to look like. I just had one of those things all the time. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks Okay, so this is from 1940s. Let me call That's what that looks like. We're not really sure what this is a little confusing looking, but imagine wearing that. That would be very interesting. Um, nope, 1940s again. Oh my gosh, that is a long bag. Oh, that's for irrigation. I didn't know they even had that back then. I thought that was a newer thing. This is, this is a urinary pouch with the drain. Actually, that one looks a lot similar to the stuff they have now. This is so neat. 1940s still. Another style. Oh my gosh, it looks like they were made out of such interesting material. Oh, and look at that metal. Can you imagine that under your clothes? Oh, that would be so. I wonder what that pump was for. If that's a pump, I don't even know what that is. Oh, bulb. It says, surface silt to skin was inflated and, a, and the bulb was removed. I wonder why they would need to inflate it. Okay, so 1950s. And that's what those looked like. Actually, look pretty. This is like actually kind of comfortable. That that looks a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Just imagine that thing like. Iliosomy collection system. I'm very happy about it. So, it's certainly something I've never seen before. Wow. So, I guess that's what it would look like on a person. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first type of a seal that was made. Called a washer. There's the info on it. You guys can pause this and read it if you want. Here's the fifties. Looks like some sturdy material. Huh? This is an ostomy sleeve. And this was an iliostomy pouch. This is a composite. This is a 1960s. And I'm guessing that's some sort of a guard. Is that what that is? So, actually, I wouldn't mind using that now, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, and that's what that looks like. And it's pretty like thick, if you guys can see from the side. Now, 1970s. And this is still the case of skin barriers. So, I mean, 
looking pretty similar to what we have now. We look a lot alike with what we have now. I mean, not much is... And again, you guys can go ahead and just pause it and read so I don't have to pull it here. And now, 2000s. And this is the moldable. So I'm sure a lot of you use this now. I know I have, so here's some info. You guys know what that is. Great technology. Oh, okay. So, this is Cricket from Austin East Spirits. That's so cool that she was able to be in this. That is so neat. And now 2010. So, here we are now, which I'm sure a lot of you will recognize all of these. Because I sure do. And I love Austin East Spirits. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Here we go. I have the drainable version of this one on today. So, so this is something that hasn't or was never put on the market and will never be on the market. For right now, will never be on the market, which is a shame because it's a great idea. And basically, that's what it would look like. And so this part would be on your skin, right? Or towards your, towards your skin. That would, wouldn't that attach to a barrier? Yeah, because it, yeah. this is, that would, yeah, that's your barrier. Then it looks like that's outside. And then it would expand if you needed it to for waste. And it would, um, eliminate noises, um, deodorizing, venting gases. It would have been, gosh, what a great product. So maybe one day that could happen. That would be really nice. That is so cool. So I'm going to show you guys that. You guys, so I'm in the uh, Competech, like, headquarters right now and what I did was just kind of recorded everything for you um, we're checking right now to see if I can show you guys everything I hope I can it's really 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 cool um, it's amazing the technology that has happened over the years um, it's just crazy like I'll just give you a glimpse right now So this is the very first Ostomy bag and I just think that is so neat to see how far we've come. Look at 1930s, that is what it looks like. And if any of you have ever been in the hospital, I know I've just had this red tube put in my stoma. So it's just crazy to see that they still use some of the same products and um, so going from that to that is I mean gosh you just sorry my fingers were just in the way it's just insane how much people have come just it's just blows my mind so sorry if I'm talking quietly. Um, people are at work right now, so I'm trying not to be too loud. But that's just crazy that that was the very first one. And I am wearing this one right now with the with the drainable end to it. So. I am very proud to be saying that I am wearing this in the Convitec um, headquarters. So that is awesome. Um, there's another thing I want to show you that was really cool. Sorry. No. So this thing, I don't even know how you would be comfortable wearing that. Sorry, no, don't find me at all. <laughs> and they said that is a seep proof. 
so I wonder how they would manage to get that done. That is supposedly seep proof and yeah, so there's some information on it. <laughs>